Hi everyone, welcome back to Draw for Fun with Kevin. Today we're going to draw a Native American caricature, right? Native American, Indian, whatever he identifies that as, okay? Uh, so grab your paper and pencil. You can use this for all kinds of projects. I made a wood carving out of it. Okay, That's I'm going to start this guy by putting a line right about here so I know about where I want to put his nose. Okay, and he's a pretty neat character, so... Let's follow along here. I think you guys will enjoy making him. We're going to come right down from there. Like that. We're going to come back over this side. We're going to come down. Like that. That's going to be... He's got a big wide nose. Okay. Now from there, let's bring it over to here. About like that. Come back over to this side here. Swoop it down. Bring it up into there. Okay, now this right here, of course, is going to be a nostril. And over here, we're going to make a nostril. Okay, so at least there we know where his nose is going to be. Now from there, we're going to come up to about here. We're going to make an eyebrow. Well, an eyelid, actually, this is going to be. Now underneath is where we put his bottom lid. Okay. From there, I'm going to make his eye. And then from that part here, right in the corner here, all right, come down and give him the inside of his eye. Now over here in the corner, I always put a little shadow. Okay, now I'll give him a couple of character lines. We're going to take a line and come down like that. Right now, above that, all of this in here is going to be eyebrows. Okay. Now let's go over to this side. On this side, so we can keep everything kind of looking the same and how I want it, I'm going to start a couple of eyebrows to give me an idea. I want to line them up. Then I'm going to draw that upper eyelid. Okay. And I'm going to take the lower eyelid. Now from there, bottom of his eye. Now where are we? We're going to go up here. We're going to draw a pupil. We're going to color that in. Okay, let's give him some character lines. Right about here, we're going to come down just like that and give him a couple of wrinkles on that side. Okay, that doesn't look like much yet, but give him time. All right, right here, I'm going to erase that line where I started. You don't really need it there. But up in here, we're going to give him some character lines. And then right at the top, we're going to make a V. That's where we're going to start his hair. Okay, so bring this over. And come down. Come over just a little bit and down. Come back up here. Let's do the other side. We're going to bring it down. Now come over. And down on this side. Okay, let's go to the top here. Draw a line just like that. Touch in the center. Draw one just like that. Is that with me? Alright, I'm going to take this line here and we're just going to travel down, bring it in, and do that. Same on this side. I'm going to come down, bring it in, and come in and touch. Okay. Then we can put all his hair and stuff in later. Right now we're just trying to get the dimensions of his face. He's going to have a feather too. Alright, so what we're going to do 
Let's come to this line right here. We're going to come down. And give him a pretty big chin. It's kind of rounded in this character anyway. Come back up. Okay. Now this is where everything starts making him look so neat. We're going to give him some smile lines. This will all be shaded. One on that side and over here. I'm going to come down. This right here is all going to be shaded. Because they're going to be deep cuts. Okay. Just makes it a little more interesting to look at when you draw it. Now we can darken his nose in now that we know about that's what we want. And straighten it out a little. Round it off a little. Okay, now right under his nose here, we're going to get that little teardrop. What are they called those anyway? I don't even know what they call that. But Actually, I'm going to make this one a little bigger. Maybe something like that. And I don't want it really pronounced in the pattern, but something like that. I'm going to come over here and we're going to draw one line like that. And come down like that. Then we're going to come right here. We're going to come up. And go over like that. Now we got to do the bottom. So we're going to take this line right here. We're going to come up, make a round, kind of round, very slight curve, and then come down on that side. And this right here is going to be his bottom lip. Okay. Now we can adjust all this. I don't like the way that looks, so we make it a little higher there. So I'm going to make a little point right here in the middle. There's my dog again. I'm going to try and shape this with the pencil instead of my carving knife. Seems to be this one's easier to do with the carving knife. <laughs> like that. Okay. Now, if we really want to make him pop, we have to give him a feather. So, let's come up here. I'm just going to draw a very basic feather. A couple of jagged lines at the bottom. I make a point. Come back up. Give it a couple more points here. Draw a line straight down and we're just going to kind of fill this in since it's just a pattern, you know, with some lines to insinuate, you know, that's where we want to have our little cuts in the feather. Okay. okay. Good. Now underneath this feather, he had braids. One here. And one over here. But we have to start it up here. There's no feather on this side. So what I did is he just kind of had hair like this all the way down and then up. Okay, this one right here was the same. It was it was just jagged. So it was more like that. Like I said, you'd have to look at the picture to see it. But believe it or not, these are going to be braids. Right? Now we're going to put a line right here. And a line there. Let's shade that in. And over here we can do it. I just put hair in the carving, but I'm going to make a braid out of this. I should have done the same on both sides, but we can change that. Just give him another piece of leather that holds his hair together. I'll scribble all that in. We'll change it here for pattern purposes and this will just make the same and give it some shading so 
so they look the same. Okay. Now at the end of both of these we can just put little tufts of hair. Like so. And we're going to give him a neck. I'm coming off a braid. Let's go over to the other braid. And then we'll give him a necklace. Maybe with some stones or beads here. We'll do some on this side. Now you can make this just one strap. They don't have to be rounded like this. And in the middle we're going to give him his little pendant with a bone. Like that. Okay, now we gotta go up and we gotta get all this to blend together here. He's gotta get all his character lines in. Make his eyes a little darker and make his hair. His hair is basically just going to be lines. Okay. Some flowing that way, some flowing this way. All right, they're going to come out of his part, which is right in the center here. So they go this way on that side, and on this side they'll go this way. And that's the way you would carve them. And his hair, I just made all that fill in, whatever. This is hair. This is the part that holds his hair, his braid. This piece of leather that holds his hair, this is hair. Okay. We'll just fill that in. Okay, now that right there is a simple pattern for a caricature of an Indian. Alright, or Native American, or whatever. Alright. Some people say it's this, some people say it's that. To me, it's, it's a drawing with special features that make him kind of interesting. Okay, so this is how you can take this and look at it and come up with whatever you want. You can shade spots in, you can add your own or take away from what I've done. But hopefully it gives you an idea how to do this guy, and I'll show you the picture. of what he came out like after he was carved. Okay? So I'm just adding a little extra details for myself. And there you have it. There's another pattern for you guys. And you guys don't have to do what I did. I made a wood carving out of him, like I said, but you could put this guy on whatever you like, you know. Uh, if you just like to draw and paint, use him for that. You know, if you just want to make the drawing, just because you like drawing, you use them for that. If you want to use it as a pattern, then you use it as a pattern like I did. I made a wood carving out of it. I'll show you the picture at the end of what he came out like. And that's it. That'll be it for this lesson. So thank you all for joining me. I'm Kevin, and I will see you in the next episode of Draw for Fun with Kevin. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.